In a population of 1,000 people, 90 have blue eyes, recessive. What percent of the population has hybrid brown eyes? So if 90 have blue eyes, our population is 1,000, and our little a, little a is 90, we need to convert that to a percentage. And so that means the frequency of my little a, little a is 0.9, which is essentially my Q square value being actually not 0.9, big mistake there, 0.09. So Q squared is 0.09. That means my Q value is 0.3. If my Q value is 0.3, my P value has to be 0.7 because P plus Q equals 1. And so if we have um, our Q being 0.3 and our P being 0.7, what percent of the population has hybrid brown eyes? So hybrid is another way of saying heterozygous. So I need to find out my 2PQ value. So 2PQ is equal to 2 times 0.3 times 0.7. And that is 0.42, which means this is 42% heterozygous. And that is the answer for number eight. In number nine, a population that is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, the frequency of a particular allele, the lay, is 0.4. What is the percentage of the population heterozygous for this allele? So our little a is like saying that it's our Q, and that makes our Q 0.4. Well, if Q is 0.4, P must be 0.6, because that's like our dominant allele. The question is asking is for the heterozygous uh, percentage, so we're asking our 2PQ. So 2PQ equals 2 times 0.4 times 0.6, that is 0.48, they just want percentage, so the answer is 48% heterozygous. And our final question. In a school population, the percentage of students with no widow's peak, recessive, is 16%. What is the percentage of students who are homozygous dominant for a widow's peak? So recessive, little a, little a is 16%, which is the same thing as 0.16. And that ultimately is our Q square value. So if Q square is 0.16, that means Q must be 0.4 and P plus Q equals 1 so P value is 0.6 so now we have the keys to the kingdom so what percentage of the students who are homozygous dominant we're looking for our big A big A which is our P squared and we have 0.6 squared which ends up being 0.36 and that is 36 percent homozygous dominant and that is your final answer for your final question. If you have any further questions, come see me. You can also check out Khan Academy. they got some really great videos over there that help walk you through this whole process. And I uh, hope that helps.